What's up, everybody? It's your boy, and you know, I'm just trying to do a quick little video on how to do mods for Xenoverse 2 because a lot of people haven't really updated their, you know, videos for it, which it's really easy for them to update it, so I don't know why they haven't done it, but let's just hop right into this so we don't waste too much time. But before you get into any real modding, just in case you do already have a save file on the game, you don't really want to lose it, I would go into your Steam because that's honestly the easiest place to go so you don't have to go too deep, and you can just type in dbxv2 and 1 actually and this will get you right to your save file and you just want to copy this and put this somewhere else just in case something bad happens with your, your like save file during all this little process but now let's just get into real stuff that you know is the real pain in the ass because the real issue that you're going to be having right now is that x uh, i mean eternity tools is going to be at 1.21.2 that's the game version you're gonna have to go to which means you have to go to this download default which i'll put in the description and figure out what version you want to use and the problem is with the depot is they don't tell you what each version is. Like I clicked into them, messed around a little bit. It's like, how am I supposed to know? So I ended up downloading something in October at first. And it's like, oh, no, that's not wrong. Then I worked myself up. I found out it's this December one. But the, ah, the way to use these is you go Windows R. And I'll leave a little thing in the description. But you'll be typing the Steam and all that open console. And you're bringing you to this file. And when you get to this file, there's a old like little prompt like this. I mean, I'll also be putting this in the description, but you'll have this right here. This is like a blank template. You have this. And then when you want to change versions, you go to download depot and you copy whatever this number is for you stuff, the version you want to use as the next like number set in there. So if you wanted, of course, the version that we want to be 1.21.1, you'd want this, but I have the full set in the description. So you don't even have to type this all out like I'm going to have to real quick. Wait to scroll this. Well, you know, I'll just skip through this part for you real quick. And there you see, I typed in the whole entire load depot number. And now after you have all that in, just press enter. And for, I don't know, it depends on how good your internet is. You're just going to be sitting here downloading the depot. So I'll be back when it finishes downloading. Okay, my download find the completes and it should like this. It'll say depot download complete and it'll tell you exactly where it is. So mine is Steam, Steam apps, content app. Four, five, four, six, five feet. Basically, you're just gonna go to wherever it says all this jank. And I believe I actually probably can copy and paste this real quick into my little folder, and it might be able to just get me right there. I could be wrong. Nope. I was hoping I could just copy it directly like that, but it shouldn't. It's not that hard to get there. All my jank that I have to sing around. Don't mind me though. The Steam, Steam apps. You got content app four five yep and then the next app and then this is my bin right here and with all this jank it's actually quite simple for this part because as long as i mean i guess it is for when you have it on, through steam i don't even know if you can get this through anywhere else but when you have this through steam where is it i just eh, my folder just dip you just go into properties and from there, you can just go browse and you're right into your DBS folder that you need to be at. Oh, didn't mean to touch that. But now, since I have both folders open, I'm not going to actually do this myself just because I don't want to ruin my own, you know, shit. But you're just going to copy and paste all this into your DBS folder. And that will be make your whole entire game updated to 1.21.2. Of course, that didn't set you up for mods yet, but that's just the first step. That's just how you update and you can do that with any other time it breaks and you need to go to a different version. That's how you would go through all that pain. And of course, I'll leave all that stuff sitting around for you once again. You know, the, but, uh, I tossed my stuff all over while waiting for it to download. So I'm just out of shorts, like the depot and all that. I'll leave a description. So you should be able to update the new versions when he does update. But next part, we're just gonna be going to, uh, the eternity tools, which of course I'll have in the description. But you'll just want to download all the files because at some point you might be messing around with other files that you need from there. Because I found myself, besides you know, like the installer and you know the patcher that you need for actually running the mods, I ended up messing with some of the mods I downloaded and make them different, like the Super Saiyan transformation. I I mean, I guess it's Super Saiyan Rose, but my transformations are different because I use one of the editors that it comes through there. So might as well just download it all. But once you have that downloaded, let's just get all this jank out of the way. So you, you should be doing next. I would have to say, uh, I don't know why I closed the one window, but you could actually keep it open. 
because you're going to still be messing with it for just a wee bit. But for now, we'll just need that. And then we'll go to your downloads where you have it downloaded. Once where you see where it's downloaded, which it'll be right at the top for you guys. Mine, I just have my old one, which is still the like current version. It's just I downloaded a little while ago and I don't feel like putting more files on my computer. As you can see, it's already a mess. And I need to clean it up. We will have this Eternity Tools, which, oh yeah. Uh, for those of you who haven't, you know, been ripping through files, you need WinRAR. I'm not going to show it a download just because a lot of people already have it here, but you just do extract to outdated Eternity Tools. That'll be as simple as that. And then you'll just have your other version of Eternity Tools sitting out the clean file right there. And you should have all this at the bottom. You won't have these two yet because you still have to extract those once again with WinRAR, which is simple as right click. I missed the right click on that. Left click, right click, and then run RAR, extract to whatever. You do that, you'll do that for the XVI, yeah, XV2 INS, and you want to do that for the patcher. And then you end up with both of these folders. And for now, you'll mess with uh, this patcher. And you have two things that you really have to do here. You have the, uh, well, I guess it's kind of simple. For the XV2 patcher part, you can just throw this all the way over there, or you can just copy and paste it. Either way, and that should be simple enough for that. For bin, you're just going to want to go into bin and you have X input one underscore three. And, in, and for the other bin, you just kind of just bring this over and replace it. And if you do have issues with running the mods and it's like a X input is wrong, you just instead of using the X input, you go into, yeah, here, the alternative DLL, you have D input eight, you just get rid of the X input and then put the D input eight instead is best really a simple solution for that but beyond that once you have all that like brought over you go into the you don't need to actually use patcher anymore you'll just go into xv2 ins and from there you'll have xv2 ins the like actual program that you're going to want to run and from there you just actually click on it twice actually i wonder if there's a way for me to go to the back because for you it's going to want you to actually choose where you want to install stuff to or like you, you'll just have to bring it to your um dbs folder or dbs yeah you just want to bring it to your folder i wonder if there's a way for me to actually bring it back i'm not sure if i actually have that option which is kind of annoying and i don't want to clear out the reason i'm not doing a fresh installation is i don't want to redownload all my mods and put them in the right spots it was already a pain to set my character up but for the most part you Good. It's you're gonna be going through all your stuff like Steam, Steam apps, content, and this. You just find wherever it wants you to put it in your DBS. It should be DB Zeroverse Two. You just follow the pathing for that. And once you get to there, you should end up on this screen right here, where you can just install mods. And I'll just want to install a mod for you. Sorry that I'm doing it kind of like lackluster, but I really don't want to reset all my stuff. It's too much of a pain to fix it all at this point. Well, I'll just download one mod real quick just to show you what it looks like to install a mod and show you what my home screen looks like. Ba -da -da -da. Oh, yeah, installation. A lot of them will tell you how to install them if they're special, but this is kind of basically just an agent coat. I would just download it. And a lot of times they bring you to Patreon. Of course, you can do their Patreon, but. If... Eh. <laughs> it depends on it. If it's good enough, it might be worth it, but a lot of times, I'm not going to hit it up. But of course, you get the X2M file. And once again, like I said, if you just go look at a lot of the installations, they'll tell you how to do it. You go to there, go to my downloads, and there it is. As simple as that, downloaded. Another mod added. And if, oh yeah, another important thing that I probably should have said earlier, just in case you guys are trying to see if things work. I'm kind of sad I didn't say it earlier is that to run the modded version, you have to go through your bin each time and press DBXV2 in there. That's the only one way to run the game. So I guess if you are having issues running the game before then, this is the solution because you're opening it through the wrong area. But I found the easiest to just pin the game right there. Just like, honestly, go to the DBX folder, like common and then find the folder and just pin it. You can honestly pin a deeper folder if you really wanted to. Like, I probably could have just pinned my, uh, yeah, bin folder right there to pin the quick access, pin the start, and I could just go to there faster, but you would open up through this folder right here. And from here, everything should be working fine. But, you know, you never know. 
things could have, you know, a stroke. I mean, I guess I didn't really change anything besides adding a mod. But you see when the game's open, the game is started, uh, that, uh, yep. You know, you can't play multiplayer. And then you got 1.21.02, which is exactly what you need. And then we should move on. And of course, you won't be able to collect the online because it's not an option actually to have online in the older versions, you know? There's no server for the older games. I mean, the uh, patch updates. So you just kind of move on with your days. I never let you play online until we were updated, which is kind of sad, but I don't really have anyone to play online with mods anyways. With We should move on go to my character real quick, and I'll show you that the one shit showed up. I'm trying to think if there's anything major that I missed. Bothering me. I feel like there's something major on the inside. It's like, was it like an anti chi or anything? But I don't believe so. But if there was anything I'll miss, I'll add it to the end of the video real quick. Or I'll, like, I'll add, so, I, I won't edit that video. I'll add it somewhere closer to the start just to make sure no one gets banned or anything like that. Plus, it's good at the clothing shop because most mods that like add clothing are just going to put it right in the clothing shop towards the bottom, usually. Let's see. It's upper bodies and, yep, agent coat. Ew. Hey, it actually comes with that. I mean, I guess it's all positive on stats, but it doesn't matter. But I am gonna be buying all these real quick because you know we're gonna we're gonna have a new fit show off at some point. So, you know, I gotta get a new teacher. I still don't know what I'm gonna be teaching myself, but we should move it on to a new path. I'll grab all that real quick. But that's all I really have for the video, and you know I hope uh, y'all aren't too displeased with it because it's not the best video for it. But I really didn't want to start all over. I have too much I would have to fix up and all that. Besides, because, you know, once you actually get in the modding, you have to, I don't know, you have to get more and more mods that change in slightly different ways instead of just installing them simply. So, I don't know, it's just a pain. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sure, hope it actually helped a lot of you, and I'll see you all next time.